Hello everybody, how are we? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily from Emily Cromwell Designs and I design colorful and heavy bookish merch for readers. This week is going to be a very, very busy week because I need to start working on the 600 plus orders that I currently have in my shop. It is um, a very busy time between the May monthly bookmark and sticker club orders and my big birthday launch and sale that I did and also the puzzle pre-orders. The puzzles came in, there are three ginormous bags that came in. They got like delivered in these huge bags. I've never seen something shipped in bags, but they did. So we have tons of puzzle pre-orders to work on packing up this week and the birthday launch orders this week. So it's gonna be a very busy packing week. So first up today, today is Tuesday. Today I'm just devoting to getting a start on the birthday launch orders. I got a bit delayed last week. Life has just kind of been a little bit all over the place the past few weeks, but I'm getting back in the groove of things. My stress levels are starting to go down, so I'm hoping to get back to my daily programming of being able to work full days and pack a bunch of orders. So that is what we're doing today. And then tomorrow, I think we're gonna work on the puzzle pre-orders. I just, I don't have everything like ready to go right now for putting the labels on the boxes and just my mindset wasn't there and I didn't even think to get it ready last night. So today we're just gonna do the birthday stuff. But then tomorrow's the puzzle pre-orders and then the day after that, we're back to birthday launch orders, all sorts of fun stuff. So it's gonna be a jam-packed week. So I'm very happy to have you guys here with me along for the ride. I haven't filmed in about two weeks. It feels so weird. So I'm happy to be filming and I missed you guys. I'm so sorry that I missed a week of posting a video. Um, I feel, I always feel so bad. I think that's the second time in a year I've had to miss a week, but I feel bad each time it has happened because I just, I hate letting you guys down. So I'm sorry. So to make up for it, I'm going to make this video extra long for you guys. So we get to hang out double the time to make up for the week that we missed. So like I said, I'm very happy to have you guys here with me and let's go make some magnetic bookmarks. This is totally random, but I have recently discovered one of my new favorite things is sparkling water. I used to be the type of person that was like, oh, I'm not gonna like sparkling water. And I think I tried one before when I was younger, didn't like it, but like whatever this one is, it's really tasty. <laughs> and it has zero sugar, which I love even more. I'm addicted. This is like a lemonade sparkling water. Mm so good. So I'm going to be sipping on my fancy lemonade today. We are going to get the magnetic bookmarks printed and I'm really excited to make them because it's most of the ones that I'm going to be making today are the new ones from all the new ones that went live on my birthday launch. So I'm excited to get those made. I always love when I release new products and then I get to make tons of the new things because I'm always like used to making orders and it's just like the same bookmarks over and over again. So when I get to do new ones, I'm just like, woo, I get excited. <laughs> Magnetic bookmarks are all made, so we are going to jump on over to the shipping station to start packing up some orders.
So we are switching gears a little bit. We are over in the, I'm saying we, I do this every video. I am over in the bookmark corner and we are, I just did it again. Why do I do that? Does anybody else do I am going to start pulling bookmarks for orders. So I bought the shipping labels for the ones we just finished packing. Yes, I'm feeling really exhausted today and usually if Sometimes I'll go like a whole day packing orders and I'm like, I have no energy to buy the labels because that takes a lot of time, especially if you pack up a bunch of orders. So I got those bought just in case, but I'm going to pull the bookmarks and uh, we will see what we can get done. Okay, so I'm actually gonna call it a day for today and I'm gonna pack, so I got all the bookmarks pulled for those orders, I'm actually gonna pack those tomorrow morning. So we're done today, so tomorrow, and then we're gonna get a start on starting to pack up the puzzle pre-orders. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning and what is today? Today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday morning, everybody. Today we, oh my hair, <laughs> it's getting me <laughs> up. Um, today we are going to start packing up the puzzle pre-orders. Again, I didn't get, puzzles aren't like a huge seller for me, so it's not like I got a huge amount of pre-orders, but I got a pretty good amount. So I need to print the stickers that go on the top of it. The manufacturer I get them from prints like a, they put a sticker on there, but it has like a huge barcode and it's just like, the picture of the artwork is small and it's just not like visually pleasing. So I made my own stickers, of course, big surprise there. So I'm gonna get those printed out so we can get those cut and put on all the puzzles. And then still need to work on packing up the orders from yesterday, the bookmark orders that we didn't get to finish packing. And then I have a list of even more orders to start packing today. And then I have a big wholesale order. I think it's going, I don't know if it's going to Norway. I think it's Norway, could be wrong. I'll double check on that. But. Um, that I have to pack up today. And <laughs> I walked into my studio this morning and I was greeted by a little surprise. And this is like, I love being in my studio like from October till beginning of March <laughs> because there's no bugs. But being on the basement floor of the, my house, you get a few more bugs down here and we get occasionally what I like to call beefcake spiders because they are so big I'm like it's a beefcake like they're thick okay they must do leg day every day at the gym because these dudes are thick and I walked in this morning lights were off turned it on and I'm like beefcake Thankfully my uh, stepdad is, today's his day off from work, and so I called the household. I'm like, help me, and it comes down. I don't do bugs. I don't do spiders, I don't do bugs. I don't do anything that crawls. No, I cannot, I cannot. <laughs> yeah, so that was a great way to start the day. Really got the adrenaline rushing, so the blood is pumping, we are ready to go. Love it. So, let's get some orders packed, shall we? Like I mentioned yesterday, oh, the puzzles got delivered in huge bags. So we have three large bags. I don't know why they ship the puzzles. They ship them like two to a box and then they put all the boxes in a little bag. So we are gonna take some time for a little bit to get all those unboxed from all these boxes so we can start putting the stickers on them.
Like I said, this is one of the things that kind of frustrates me about the puzzle manufacturer is that they send them all in two puzzles per box with all these boxes. And I'm like, why don't we save cardboard and just ship them all in a big box? So now I have to go through and take them all out of these. I, know, I just, I don't like wasting this cardboard, but at least I get to recycle it, so that's good. <laughs> Hello, hi, yes, we are uh, still here. A good half hour later, still trying to unbox all of these puzzles from the boxes. I, I honestly, it really annoys me that they're shipped in so many tiny boxes. I'm like, what is the reason, people? But you know what, we are working with it. Um, as I'm doing this, I'm using the time to brainstorm launches and real ideas, new design ideas. So I'm trying to make use of the time as much as possible, uh, but we are almost done. I have I this five more boxes to unbox and then we will be done and we can start adding the branding to the puzzles. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what I mean about the stickers on these boxes. So this is the sticker that comes with it. See what I mean? It's just, it's not, it doesn't get me excited about what's inside the box. And I am very big on as you guys know, making nice packaging design. That is like one of my favorite things with running a small business is not just designing products, but designing really awesome, fun packaging that really makes you excited about what's inside and what you receive. And this just does not do it for me. So this is what I receive, but this is what I make. So now I'm just gonna go through and take off all these stickers, put on these ones. And then I also, hold on, where's my thing? Hold on, one second. Udo Momento, I already got it. And then I also um, print out these warning stickers just because it's small puzzle pieces and you gotta have the warning stickers on there. So the one on here is a bit smaller but I make one a little bit bigger and kind of more noticeable when I put that on the side where you open it. We are gonna switch gears over to getting that done. Um, that's what we're doing next. So I am wanting to see if these puzzles fit in the boxes that I have. I'm hoping they do. I think this is the right size box I had last time. And like, these are the boxes that I use to ship almost everything that needs a box. I hope it fits. I'm hoping it's just like, okay, here we go. Cross your fingers. Perfect. Look at it, it's perfect. Okay, I got really nervous because I couldn't remember last time if I bought the two inch tall box or the three inch tall box. I was like, oh my gosh, please work because I don't have a taller box. So this is gonna work. So that makes me happy. So now we can finally start packing orders. <laughs> I feel like I've been saying that for hours now, but now we really are going to be packing orders. got four puzzles okay gonna have to rethink my box situation uh all right hold that thought i gotta find another box <laughs>
Okay, I got a good bit of the puzzles packed. I only have a few more that need to be packed, but those are orders where people either got bookmarks or notepads or something else with it. So I'm gonna switch gears really quick and focus on packing up this wholesale order that is going to a first time customer. I'm not sure if it's a bookshop or it's some kind of shop, but over in Norway. So that's exciting. So I'm, ow, I just got a bang. I'm going to pack this up and um, then I'm going to resume packing all the other orders. I'm pack, I'm printing out a few sheets right now because I did a fun like birthday promo for my birthday launch and sale that if people spent $30 or over because I was turning 30 that we would get either like a few free products, um, gift certificate off a future order, discount code off a future order. So I, I put together like some fun little graphics to put in with everyone's order that got the promo to so they can see what surprise they got. So those are printing right now. I gotta get those cut to put into orders. Uh, so we're gonna do this wholesale order first. It's probably gonna take me a little bit because there's a lot in this order. <laughs> Okay, so can I just say for a minute that my new system of having planner sticker sheets outsourced for me and already here like ready to go has made a world of a difference. Like it has made so much of a difference and I just feel so much more productive and like I have more time in the day that I don't have to make all the sticker sheets myself the morning of and I can just come over here, grab and go and I'm good. I'm, I'm so in love with this system. Just wanted to say that.
So, uh, yeah, that's all I'm gonna be able to do today. I say that as if I just didn't do a full work day's load of work. But anyways, um, I'm all done. So as you can see from behind me, I got a lot packed today, so I'm quite proud of myself, but I am tired. So I'm gonna get the shipping labels bought for all these and somehow carry all these upstairs by myself. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, everybody. Happy, I never remember what day it is. Thursday, happy Thursday. <laughs> I have something really exciting to show you guys today. So um, I just got home from doing a quick few errands. So we are running a little bit late, a little bit behind schedule, but we're gonna make it work. But I got home to a very exciting package on my front porch. So just a little quick backstory. If you don't know, if you're familiar with the author Jillian Dodd, if Jillian, if you're watching this, Hi, I love you. She did a kickstart, is it Kickstarter? Kickstarter campaign. I think it was starting last year for her new, her new series, Eastbrook Academy. And somehow I got the honor of illustrating the special edition covers for those books. And I just got the third and final cover in the mail today that I did the book, I should say, not just the cover. And it is just such like a surreal, like a pinch me moment when you see your hard work on an actual book. So, so this is the third book and your girl did all the formatting too. Let me just say, I am not a formatter. I'm not good with that kind of stuff, but I did it myself. So we got the flaps, we got the inside cover, and then to make it even more special, this is the special edition hardcover. I think there was like three different variations of each book. You could do paperback, hardcover, and then the special edition paperback, which is what this one is. And, which is so exciting. The inside, when you take the dust jacket off, is this. Isn't that cool? So excited. So I just got that in the mail today. So that was fun. And I was like, I gotta share it with you guys and show you what just came in. So today we are continuing to pack up the birthday launch and sale orders. I have my therapy appointment today. So we'll see how much we can get done because like I said, I'm, it's almost 11 a.m. right now. So starting about two hours later than I normally do. So we'll see what we can get done. But I also have two things to share with you guys in addition to what I showed you before we get into everything. The first being the artwork for my botanical collection is done. It is all finished. All the products are in production. I've even started receiving some of the products. So the wait is almost over. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering when that launch is going to be ready. I've been working on it a while. I got sidetracked. It's taken me a while, but everything's finished and I'm really, really excited for this collection. It's just, it's going to be massive. It's going to be really big and I can't wait to just show you guys everything in it. I know I've shown you like a few sneak peeks, but I can't wait to show you everything. So everything is in production. And also other big news is the Bunard plushies. I have not forgotten about those. <laughs> it has been a whirlwind trying to get everything for that perfect because with this new manufacturer, they're having to recreate Bunard from scratch. I have like the perfect way that I need him to be created. And like, I even like showed them like what my first plush looked like and I'm like this is what he needs to look like and it was either the eyes came back too big or the smile wasn't cute enough or the head was too blocky it just there was always something not looking right about him and finally in April they sent a picture I'm like that's Bunard he's perfect so the proof was finally approved <laughs> So that means that because they have regular Bunard down, finally, I should be receiving now the proof of Christmas Bunard any day now because I placed an order for a regular Bunard plushie and Bunard dressed up for Christmas. So and with really with how long it's been taking, he's going to be here in time for Christmas. I just hope because so much time has passed since I did Bunard that people didn't like fall out of love with the plushie idea. I had to buy 150 of each plushie. I don't know where to put that many plushies because they're not small. The Christmas one is gonna be slightly smaller, but regular Bunard is like this. Can you imagine, a, what is that? 300 plushies sitting in my studio. 
that's not gonna happen. So I hope you're ready for plushies. And if you aren't ready for plushies, I hope you know people that are ready for plushies because I'm gonna have plushies galore. It's gonna be wild, it's gonna be wild. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking because I really need to start working. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start working now. <laughs> Whoa, wrong way. Goodness. There we go. All right. Okay, so while my laminators are heat Okay, so while my laminators are why can't I say Okay, so while my laminators are heat why while my laminators why can't I say that? While my laminators why is this so hard to say? What? Let's try this again. While my laminators, there we go, are heating up. Goodness, that was hard. Uh, I wanted to tell you guys about a potential um, new, I was gonna say hobby, but it's not gonna be a hobby. A new little DIY project I might start doing. So I could not sleep the other night. The AC in our house broke. It was super, super hot. Could not sleep. I was up till like 3 a.m. So I decided to go on YouTube and Pinterest and I came across this really cute item, I'll say item for right now. And then I went on YouTube and I was like, oh, how do you make something like this? Went down a literal rabbit hole and ended up buying tons and tons of supplies today. And so I'm gonna try to join the punch needle craze. I'm gonna try really hard. I love learning new things and I, I've done rug hooking and I think it's really fun, but I've never tried punch needling. And what I came across was like how to do punch needle mug rugs. Like it got like, my creative juice is flowing and I'm like, oh my gosh, what about like mug rugs, but like inspired off of my designs. So like book shaped ones or book spines. And I'm like, 
So I have some fun ideas and I have a few ideas for the end of the year towards September, October. I'm not gonna say it because it's gonna be a surprise. You may know what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna give it a go. And I have some really, really fun ideas. I've been doodling the ideas for what I wanna do because I wanna make my own templates and I'm excited. So all the supplies are on the way to me right now. I, I mean, who would have thought I turned 30 and one of the first things I buy is tons and tons of yarn. I'm becoming an old lady as we speak, but I'm excited about it. I cannot wait. I just get so giddy when like I get to start a new craft project, especially when it's something that I don't know how to do it. So I've just been like, thinking about it non-stop and like looking things up and I just think it'd be so fun and then like I could do like little car coasters and then I even saw some people you can do like uh, keychains and then I'm trying to come up with an idea for bookshelf decor with punch needling so stay tuned I have an idea I'm very excited if you can tell so okay I think my laminator is ready but I just wanted to put that on you guys' radar that when I get all the supplies, we are gonna be doing it together so that you guys can like learn along with me and we can figure out how to do it. So I'm excited to give it a go and I just wanted to tell you guys that. But I am gonna get some bookmarks laminated. I don't know how long I'm gonna last because I'm really hungry today for some reason and I have this very bad habit of not wanting to stop for lunch breaks while I'm working because it just messes up my flow. I really got to start keeping snacks down here so I don't have to like go upstairs and make food. And yeah, but we're gonna get some bookmarks laminated and continuing packing orders and buying shipping labels for orders and the birthday launch craziness continues. Okay, so laminating the bookmarks actually took me quite a bit longer than I thought it would. So I actually have to stop for today because I have to go to my appointment. So uh, again, I will see you guys tomorrow. We will be back at it, continuing to pack up orders. I feel like this is like one of the first videos where I really like bring you guys along every single day packing orders. Usually with like videos, I'll be like, okay, we're packing orders today, doing this tomorrow. But this is like what reality is after a big launch is every single day is the same thing of packing, packing, packing. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning! We have made it to Friday and this will officially be the end of the work week. So, go us, go you, we made it to the end of the week. And um, as always, I'm super tired today but it is my own fault this time around because I was up really late because I had a really fun idea for the July Emily Cromwell Designs box. I'm, once I'm done packing one box, I'm instantly like, my brain is like, okay, next box, let's start drawing, let's get to planning. And I had done a poll on Instagram, I think it was like a week ago now, and theme that one is, I'm really excited for this one, is Ocean Library Oasis. So picture like underwater, ocean, like super fun underwater library vibes. Now to some who are like myself, who are extremely afraid of the ocean, that might sound terrifying, but I promise I'm gonna make it cute. <laughs> I was up last night and I was like Google searching underwater plants and like ocean coral reef and stuff like that pictures. Just looking up the pictures, I got so freaked out and my anxiety spiked because I, oh, <laughs> I can't even talk about it. But like the dark water, mm, no, I, I'm, I, I'm very afraid of the ocean. But I think it's gonna be a fun theme nonetheless. <laughs> so anyways, I was up last night because I was drawing out an idea because the three products that everyone voted for is um, so like I said, there's always a notepad, uh, sticky notes, and a bookmark in every box. But the three additional products that you guys voted for was a small book sleeve. This would be my first time having a book sleeve in a box, so that's gonna be exciting. And then also you guys voted for a keychain. And I've recently found a new keychain manufacturer where they can do like really cool like colorful metal clasps to make it more fun and colorful because you know me, I need more color in my things. Like you cannot have enough, okay? And then the third thing, um, I was actually surprised everyone voted for like two kind of like keychain things, but the third thing 
is one of my seamstresses just told me that she can now, she just learned how to do like, um, what do you call them, like wristlet lanyard keychains where it's like fabric and then it's the metal thing you can put your keys on and everything. I think that's what it's called, wristlet lanyard keychain because you hold it around your wrist, right? Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But you guys voted for that too. And I'm like, that could be fun to do like a fun, like oceanic bookish pattern design. So it's gonna be a fun box. So that's gonna be our summer box. So that is currently actually available for pre-order if you wanna get it. The designs aren't done yet. Literally, I've only sketched one of the designs, but the design reveal for that is gonna be June 27th. So mark your calendars. Yeah, so today we are just continuing to pack up the orders from my birthday launch and sale. I am hoping, I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull it off. I'm gonna try to finish orders from that weekend today because um, on Monday I need to start packing the May monthly bookmark and sticker clubs. So we're gonna try, we're gonna see what we can get done. So let's get on to it. Okay, so Toby is here, the star of the show, dude of the day because um, you guys know how I'm gonna have my cat book sleeves coming up here soon. So I need this little guy to pose with me. So we're gonna try to get some pictures with him because you know, both kitties. So let me get my phone so you can take a picture. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> All right, Tom, I need your face in this way. If I can do this and get it. Oh, oh, Toby. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Butter seat time. Hey, Tom. Oh, do I have something fluffy? Where's something fluffy? Hey, Tob. Look at his head. <laughs> All right, let's have a kiss. You did a good man. Good job. Thank right. you very much. Is that it? Oh, oh, oh. It's such a big boy. Hi, dude. All right, hey. Toby, I will send you your paycheck for your <laughs> modeling contract a little later. Yay. Look how precious this came out. Like, oh my gosh, I was laughing because he was like moving his head back and forth, but look how cute. He's such a good, look at this one. Oh man, he's such a good little model. Look at this face. Oh my gosh. Okay, these came out good. <laughs>
Okay, so this next order is pretty cool. This customer bought every single new bookmark that was launched with my birthday launch. So thank you so much. I always think it's so cool like if someone like buys everything of a new thing that I did. So we got quite a bit of bookmarks to pack. <laughs> Okay, so we are making good time. I'm gonna um, go get all the bookmarks for the bookmark orders that we need. And I feel like there's something I wanna tell you guys. Oh yeah, um, that's what I wanted to say is I don't know if you've noticed, you probably have, but I am now gonna be starting to post um, YouTube shorts on this channel. I think I did a few back when I first started this channel and I don't know, I just kind of fell out of doing it and I just stuck with like once a week my big vlogs every Wednesday. But I've been hearing what you guys have been saying, how you want more videos from me. And even though I can't do more than one studio vlog a week because it takes me so long to film it and edit it and put it together, I am happy to post more YouTube shorts on here. So you are going to be seeing some more content from me, even though it's shorter form content, you'll still be seeing more stuff from me. So I hope you guys have enjoyed those. Let me know what kind of like YouTube shorts you enjoy seeing from me, whether it's like the ASMR order packing sounds, whether it's packing orders set to music, whether, I don't know, like the little fun things, like sometimes it's like fun trends you can do, or even mini studio vlogs, because sometimes like I'll run Instagram. Instagram and TikTok, I'll do like a day in my life studio vlog, but it's like 30 seconds long or a minute long. Nothing like these videos where sometimes they're like an hour long. Um, so let me know what kind of shorts you guys would enjoy and I can make sure to film more. So I just had to go upstairs to get a band-aid because I injured my thumb. However, while I was up there, I saw that there was a package that was delivered and it is a mug sample for my botanical collection. And I'm just going to give you guys a little sneak peek. Now, I know it's not hard to remember, but remember, I am not a fan of green. I love pink. However, I know a lot of you guys like keep asking like, can we have more green stuff? So this will be my first ever green accent mug. I hope you like it. I actually think it came out really cute. So here it is up close. So it will have a green handle and then it's also green inside too. So it's a little fun green accent mug. I feel like it just really complements the green of the plant in this design too. So I'm so excited with it.
Golly gee, I am pooped, guys. This was a long work day. Woo, I'm exhausted. Okay, so I didn't end up finishing all the birthday launch orders today. I only have a few left, and by few I mean maybe like five. I'm calling that a good day. So that brings us to the end of this video. Let me get more comfortable here. Real quick again, I just want to thank you guys so much for everybody that placed an order for this birthday launch. I am so grateful you guys blew me away. It was my best birthday launch yet, so thank you guys so very much. And like I've been talking about the Botanical Collection, that is gonna be coming up very, very soon. Like I said, all the products are in production, so I should be getting them soon. Like you saw with the mug, some things have already been coming in. So I'm aiming, I will either have the Botanical Collection, the launch date will either be the last Saturday of May or the first Saturday of June. I don't know yet which one it will be. It may end up being the June one. I don't know, so I will keep you guys posted. Keep an eye on, you know, any of my social media channels or if you're on my newsletter. I, I announce all my stuff everywhere, but keep an eye on that for the most up-to-date date because I don't know yet specifically when it will be, but I'm gonna try to get it done as soon as possible. So if you made it this far, thank you so very much. I feel like this was a long one, so thank you so much for hanging out with me this week. You guys know I love hanging out with you guys. So I hope you guys are doing amazingly well. I hope you are reading some amazing books. I was gonna do my April reading wrap up this week, but it's just such a busy week. I didn't have time to, so I'll do that in the next video. But I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.